$10. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, looking good. Billy Ray feeling good, Lewis. Well, we've got the Fed coming out here in less than an hour, so that'll be exciting. Uh, imagine what bonds will be on both sides of those big wide numbers that we're looking at. Uh, I wanted to point out the chart of Microsoft here today, folks. As you can see here, uh, it's down about 7% already from the high that it made just a few days ago. Uh, today's high, if you'll notice a little red X there that says 382 on there, now you're going to tell me there's not a chart there, I'll bet you. What are you going to say? Uh, son of a gun, ain't that the truth? Well, we're going to find out what the trouble is here, so bear with me for just a second here, and we'll get Softy's chart up here, and hopefully we'll be able to see it without any, any trouble here. Okay, here's what we're going to be looking at. Uh, there we go. We'll get it up right here. Uh, okay, I think we're going to be seeing it okay, and I... Got the static fixed. You'll see there's the big ABCD that we had up here at the high. Remember, I don't know diddly squat about earnings, so don't really care, and I don't intend to. But I wanted to see today's high was a 382 of the high that we made back here. And, of course, you can see we're trading down quite a bit from that level. Just for kicks and giggles today, folks, since we're going to be having this day trading class coming up on August 2nd, I wanted to bring up uh, one of the charts that we're going to be looking at today. Uh, from the little file of things that I'm looking at. And this will tell you how we're trying to find some of these things. This happens to be the E-mini S&P as it was about an hour or so ago. We were making, you can see, the nice three drive to a bottom pattern that we had. And then we came right up to this level right here. We have since come down and matched this level. We haven't gone below it yet, but that's what's happened so far. Now, if you had been able to sell that, all you would have to do now is to put your stop at break even and you've got a you know risk-free trade if there is such a thing going into fed time now i don't know if there is or not but that, what that's what can usually happen now i wanted i talked a little bit yesterday about these flashcards that we're going to be uh giving to the folks that uh, join i saved these for my students but uh, this was done by our good friend bv down there in texas but i wanted you to see these are these are priceless folks they're color flash coded and uh, color cards that are <laughs> they're color coded. They're red and green, basically. It hopefully I'll hopefully I'll be able to see. Oh, it didn't come up. Just a second, uh, Doc on it. Oh, I think it's the way I put these things in. But let's just double check here. Hold on, just a minute. There they are. They come right up after all. So see if they'll pop up there now. There they are. That's what they look at. There's six buys and six sells. And then, of course, there's a 382, which is uh, a one easy one to look at. But I want you to look at these, folks. Those of you that have been around, you know ABCDs. You can see the ABCD sell signal, the ABCD buy signal. Well, what we do in the video for the 24-7 folks, each day we look at patterns that we think have a very good chance of completing. And today... Uh, if you'll notice here, we'll get up here, you'll be able to see that this is a, a beautiful pattern here. Hold on one second. This uh, was a, hold on, uh, shut the front door and raise the rent, having a little difficulty. There you can see the perfect uh, ABCD to the downside. The market has since rallied about $600 in our favor. But we also had a nice little ABCD pattern right here last night. And that one ended up being up more than $1,000. So between the two of them, it's up about $1,300 just on a crude oil, uh, a, a December bean oil contract. So all we're doing is ABCDs. Now, one other one that we had yesterday, and I'm, you know, I'm trying to show you that I don't make these darn things up because this is what happens. It's, remember, we were short cattle, and we were going to reverse and go long down there at that 79.35 uh, level. And we'll get this up here so you can see it. And these are the kind of trades that we'll be looking at when we do our thing on August the 2nd, all right? And that's what we're watching uh, right in here for a rally up into this area. 
Now your stop is at break even, so you're in a risk free situation. That's the first thing that you want to do is when, if you make a like a $300 profit in something, uh, you've got to protect yourself because now that's $300 of your own money. That's what people fail to realize. Once you see that stuff clicking on the side of your thing there, that is real money. And the problem is, is that you get attached to that number is going up and down. And believe me, folks, that is not a very good thing to do. Uh, I remember the days that Mark and I spent here for, let me see, 76 to 04, about six years. We uh, were looking at uh, these markets each day. We didn't have all these things with equity runs showing you to the second where you were at that time. You didn't know that until the end of the day, which was a real advantage. Okay. Because if you're watching what the money is, then that's not what you want to be watching. You want to be watching what's really happening with your risk that you have on. That, that's what the whole thing is about. It's not how much money you're making. Oh, yeah, that looks really great. But you get, you know, get wrapped up in this stuff, and it'll really screw you up. And believe me, I've been that way before. I bet I can... Not recently, but in the past. And I have bad days, folks. You know, give me a break. You know, I have bad days just like everybody else. But what I'm trying to tell you is that if you plan your trades and not over trade, you've got a really good chance of beating these markets. You really do. Now, this isn't a this isn't a wealth management class or anything like that. I view this as a way of making a living. Each day when I come in, I have I have today I had cattle uh, to buy and uh, I had what else I had uh, soybean oil to sell. I had uh, crude oil to buy. I had several things that were lined up that said, yes, if I buy these, I've got a, a, a better than 60 percent chance of being right. And that's what those trading cards about, because the trading cards is based on basically what the, you know, the floor traders handbook is, which proves after doing 30,000 of these ABCD patterns. Yeah, they do work, but they don't work all the time. They work about 62 percent of the time. But when they do work, they're going to pay you two times at least what you're going. It's actually 1.8 of what time you're of the amount of money that you put in. So that's that's why it's so very important that I look at these things from this, this point of view. Now, I look at these on a longer time frame. Those require that you have to take a longer risk, a larger risk. And that's what we're going to be doing on August the 2nd. We're going to be going down to 15 minute, 8 minute, and 4 minutes, finding these patterns because they are tradable, especially in things like gold, crude oil, the S&P, treasury bonds. And uh, uh, what, there's one other one in there. Um, Natural gas is another one, and but those are these things that you could just look at these overall each every day. You're looking at some really really nice patterns that will line up that that will give you a profitability. Now, if you you don't have time to sit in front of the machine, and then you got to go to the wider the longer time frame. And I understand that. That's part of the things that when we're looking at these markets of, you know, what we're trying to do is to find the time frame that you're going to be trading in and match the pattern to it because the patterns are the same. Whether it's yearly, monthly, weekly, daily, two, four hour, two hour, one hour, 15 minute, five minute, two minute. I never go less than two minute. But if you went out to a tick chart, you could see him doing the same thing because it comes right out of what Andrew Lowe said in his book that markets repeat with regularity. And also H.M. Gartley said that whatever goes around comes around. And then also we had Benoit Mandelbrot. It said, look for the lightning bolt, which is A, B equals C, D. We're going to take a little break here, and then we're going to take a look at Google. Attention traders. Larry Pesavento, the renowned trading mastermind, is holding an exclusive live trading event on Wednesday, August 2nd. From 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Eastern Time, transform your trading skills with the real-time wisdom of a Wall Street veteran. Just $295 gets you a front row seat to this power-packed session, plus a month free of Larry's sought-after newsletter, Fibonacci 24-7, a $97 value. Elevate your strategies, decode the markets, and achieve your financial goals. Remember, this event will be archived for all attendees, and Larry only does a few of these a year. Don't miss this opportunity. Sign up today at TFNN.com. Secure your future and start trading smarter. TFNN. Educating Investors. 
Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors call, call, call now toll free at 1-877-927-6648 internationally at 727-873-7618 Okay, chart, folks, <laughs> I posted the chart here of uh, the uh, chart of uh, uh, Google, as you can see here, hold on one second, I'll get this up here. You can see the, uh, oh, please don't tell me the chart's not showing because I'm going to, oh, you know, there's got to be an easier way for me to like, make a living than this, folks. Let me get this Google chart up here. I, I do not know why this happens. I do care, but I don't know. Let's get this up here and take a look at it here. Okay, here's what we've got. I hope this pops up and we'll be able to see it. Okay, maybe that's it. All right, but you can see the look at look at the beautiful head and shoulders bottom, folks. That you can see here. Look at that. Left shoulder, right shoulder, right shoulder higher than the left shoulder. The time between the right shoulder and the center, and the center and the left shoulder, all perfect. I mean, that's just absolutely beautiful. Look at the expansion on the upside. Exactly 1.618 on the retracement. Exactly 7.86. This is a perfect head and shoulder pattern. This is the type of pattern that Andrew Lowe, oh, there's that static again, wow. Well, not gonna worry about that. I'll try to figure out what that is. I switched over to Windows 11. I don't think that's it, but uh, something's causing it, but we'll have to figure that out, I guess. Let's move on here to the next one that we wanna take a look at. Let's take a look at the gold market here, folks, because we've had a pretty good bottom uh, being made here uh, in this gold market. We've already pointed out to the fact the importance of that uh, 1955 level and uh, I just wanted to show you something here in the go oh, boy here in the gold chart that that's was worked very well today let me get this up here so that you're able to see it and this is a 13 minute chart and believe me there's no difference between a 13 minute and a 15 minute I just happen to use 13 because it's a Fibonacci number but there was our low down here at 1955 Okay, there's your first 382 retracement here, folks, right here, down there at 1965. Uh, we went up and made a new high. We're still hanging around in this area right here. Now, when the Fed comes up, there's a chance that this could lead to an A, B, C, D to the upside, or we could go down and maybe even take this low out. But we're in a really interesting time here because everybody is expecting the Fed to raise rates a quarter of a point. Now, they might do something different, and, and who knows? And then he's going to be out talking about what he did. So, you know, those are times a, a professional trader should wait until 
the, the announcement's been made and they start talking and, and let, the, let the market settle down a little bit. Because if you think you're going to be able to try to pick that exact high or exact bottom of when he's talking, that's a pretty tough one to do. However, occasionally times I do this. We have a big wide band today in Treasury bonds. On the upside, uh, 127.05, and on the downside, 124.05. Now, that's a three-point swing, folks. That That is a big move, and we're sitting right in the middle, 125 and change. So watch 125. Uh, 05, uh, we'll be off the air by the time this happens. And then on the upside, watch 127.05. If they're right, they'll stop right there. They will not go more than a couple ticks beyond those numbers, but uh, that's that's just a, you know an educated guess. And so you've got to be able to put a stop in there. Usually 10 pips will cover it. I'm not saying that's a recommendation. I'm saying that's just how one would handle it if one wanted to go in to a day when the Federal Reserve is trading. So those are the things that uh, we're focusing on today. Uh, someone's asked a question, how many patterns are on the on the flashcards? There are actually 12, six buys and six sells. And then the other ones that we give away for the all on the, on the August 2nd day is we do the 135 patterns and of course the 382, which is just really a, a, really a monster pattern that is uh, you know quite quite uh, what we call uh, quite exciting. So those are just uh, some of the things that I wanted to cover today. I think it's important the fact that, you know, everybody was expecting the Microsoft earnings to be blockbuster. Well, folks, they, they expected that three or four days ago. The market had already anticipated that it was going to, that it sold off. The big surprise was the one with Google because of the earnings were, I don't know, from what they said, earnings were good. I, that, that's about all I know about stocks. And, so, and I, that's why I don't trade them very much, okay? But anyway, I had a, a comment, too, about the, the uh, Gartley that we had in coffee. Now, it ran up at one time. It had a six-cent profit in the coffee market. And now we're back down, nearing those lows, back down at 156 again. This is not a good sign, folks. That's why if you would have bought that at one time and you made three times what your risk was, you got to take some profit somewhere. And that's what you have to be able to do because unless you think you're going to catch the exact high or exact low on these moves, that's just not going to happen. So if you're – just stop and think, real common sense stuff. Let's say you're risking $400 to trade cattle, okay? And all of a sudden now the cattle have moved in your favor and it's, there, it, it's 800 points. It's almost two points higher than where you bought it. Okay, now if you keep your stop at the same place – which is minus 300, you're risking eight from $800 profit to a 11, uh, what is that? It'd be a $300 loss. That's a $1,100 swing, folks. That's not what trading is all about. When I come in here each day, I try to find nice little ABCD patterns that line up. I look at them in late afternoon. If I see them forming, fine. If I see a great one, maybe overnight, and I get up in the middle of the night, I'll put that one out there. We had one of those yesterday in the soybean oil, just a perfect uh, 382 retracement, and the market dropped $1,000, and that's the spot where you should have turned around and went long. And that's what we were trying to tell the folks. So that's what we're, watch, we're watching. But, you know, once you see these patterns work over and over again, and believe me, folks, you're going to have periods where you're gonna, you lose four, five, six times in a row. That is going to happen. So be very, very careful to think that's not going to happen to you because eventually it will. And, and then right after that period, there'll be signs where you have or trades where you have where you have five or six or seven or nine or ten. My biggest trick was 19. And I, I thought the 20th and 21st were absolute mortal locks, and I lost five straight trades right after that. <laughs> I can hear Mark right behind me right now when he put his hand on my shoulder, and he says, it ends today. And I turned around, you, and then I said a few words that I can't say on the air here. And I said, why do you say something like that? He said, it's the inflection in your voice. He said, you're too overconfident. And I said, I still got the order in. He says, I know, they're going to be filled. Just let them get filled. And the bang, 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 five in a row. Just all that day, five straight losing trades. And boy, I had them laid out perfectly. Every single one of them failed. Anyway, those are, you know, this is things you got to do when you trade. You got to expect that. You know, you're just not going to be able to, and you're not, you're not going to be able to get the high tick and the low tick on some of these things. So you've got to just be really careful and not, you know, get involved with, uh, and emotionalism and stuff, which is really difficult. That's why Paula is coming on the show here. She can help you with stuff like that. Now, I do not spend a lot of 
time in front of the computer. This is the most time I spend. And folks, I'm not looking at charts during this time. I'm looking at stuff that I can try to show you that might help you in your trading. That's what I'm doing. I let I let the market do what it's going to do. You know, when you're looking at the machine, I found this out about, hmm, about 40 years ago. No one else really gives a rat's patootie of what you're in and what you're doing. Zero. They're worried about them, T-H-E-M. They're not worried about Y-O-U. So you got to take care of yourself. And the worst thing you can do is sit there at that machine and focus on the upticks if you're long and focus on the downticks if you're short. Not a good sign. All right. 877-927-6648. Stay tuned for Paula T and her mystery. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks, with Paula Webb on the line. Paula, how are you doing today, young lady? I'm doing great, Larry. How about you? And how's the balmy weather over there in Palm Springs? About 86? Oh, it's just lovely. <laughs> just a, a nice, you know, cool 120 degrees, yeah. you know. But oh, as you know, gosh, it's a dry heat. 
So it's a dry heat, just like it is here. But we have the monsoons, <laughs> but you don't have. Anyway, I used to hang out in Palm Springs. Oh, during my time in California, that was one of my favorite places there in Mammoth, and uh, also Lake Tahoe were my three favorite places to go. Sure. And uh, sure, loved that place. Anyway, uh, and I spilled. I have so many. Well, I got half a dozen students over there, and I spilled some. I speak to almost daily. But Paula, question I have for us: uh, There is a young gentleman on uh, from the uh, where is he from? Ireland was in the den the other day asking a question uh, that uh, he, well, excuse me, not in the den is on Skype that he's a consistently losing and he keeps uh, he keeps uh, uh, trading and I said well do you have any methodology he says no I just think I know where the market's going to go and I really wanted to just you know jump down his throat and say put your charts away throw your pencil away and get a job till you know what you're doing but I couldn't say that to him what would you have said to him Paula because I I really didn't handle it very well. Oh, I'm sure you handled it just great, Larry. But no. what what I would have said was I would have asked him how he thought he could make consistent money without any methodology, mm -hmm. I, you know, without a plan, without any yeah. course of action. And, and I would just bring it right back to, um, you know, most traders, they just don't have a business plan in terms of, knowing how they're going to attempt to grow their money as traders. Mm -hmm. And and that has to be, you know, a key element to get started just so you have goals. Mm -hmm. If you don't have any goals, I, you yeah. can't you can't grow your money. Yeah. I remember the methodology part because you were involved when Mark, Mark had all those uh, account statements from Merrill Lynch. There were over 10,000 of them, and you helped us go through. And we saw that the main reason that traders lose is, A, they put their stops too close. B, yep. they don't use stops at all, and three, uh, they don't they don't stop after a certain amount. They just keep trading and trading and trading until they eventually stop making errors and then they start making money. But that wasn't about eighty five percent of those people were losing money in those accounts at Merrill Lynch. Wasn't that the figure? Yeah, yeah, it was it, it, yeah. closer to ninety. I would say ninety ninety yeah. ninety two percent. I think. Yeah. And you know, I mean, I'm working with a guy right now. Uh, and, and all he does is revenge trade because he thinks oh. he knows where the market's headed. And yet, yeah. uh, you know, when it goes against him, he adds to his position. <laughs> oh, like, my God. What, what, what are you thinking? I, yeah. I don't even get that. <laughs> that you know, but, I mean, but, and he's not he's not uh, in his 20s. I mean, he's yeah. he owns his own business. He's been very mm -hmm. successful at that. But when it comes to trading, he's lost his mind. So, you know, yeah. I, I told him, you, you, well, I told him to call you, number one. I don't know if he will. Yeah, but, I wonder, um, who, who am I going to Because he doesn't have a methodology either. <laughs> yeah. That, the, on behind me, Crazy. folks, and the painting on the wall up here, the number one thing of the 12 rules, the number one rule is never add to a losing position. And the reason for that is you're doing two things. One, you're increasing your risk and your leverage, okay? The second thing is you don't know what you're doing because the market's going against what you think it was going to do. So that's got to exactly. be the dumbest. Right. You got to be the dumbest thing that you can possibly do. But <laughs> they continue to do it uh, time after time. How would you? How would you get somebody to, to actually stop doing that? I mean, you can't, you can't just keep rubbing their nose in the dirt. I mean, w w what would be the strategy to get him to? He's got to find a point where he just can't take the pain anymore, isn't it? Exactly, and that, yeah. that's that's been you know Mark's and my experience since you know since we started this whole thing of mm -hmm. trading psychology. Um, when the pain of losing money over overcomes your need to be right, then they'll change. That's it. Yeah. That and and just like right, the guy yeah. I'm working with right now, he hasn't lost enough yet. He I, he, he oh. you know he he'll say, oh yeah, I I, I believe what you're saying, but he's not going to do it. So everybody mm -hmm. has to reach their own threshold, their own financial threshold of how much how much they're willing to lose before they actually start listening. And, and hearing and applying what those of us mm -hmm. have been saying for a long time, yeah. unfortunately for them. Well, that's the truth, but that's the way you go about it. Uh, when, when you get a new a new client in, uh, Paul, I know you work slightly differently than, than Mark did, but what's the first step when you, when you take in a new client? I mean, first you, you evaluate them, don't you, to see where they are? And Right, I mean, that's what the, the free consultation is all about, is number one, they may say they want one thing, but that may not really be what they're looking for. So, so in the free phone call, you know, we kind of have flesh out what it is they're looking for. They may be looking for a methodology. And as you know, I always refer them over to you. Um, 
or they may really need to learn how to think. And that, so when they need to learn how to think, then, then I can work, you know, go forward with them. And they have to be open to, to understanding that everything they know that got them to here today is good, but they need to think differently to be able to expand their capabilities to take and keep more profit. And so it's just a learning curve. You know, there's, there's, no, there's no downside to this. You just have to be open to learning. On average, so that's what we do. On average, how long does it take uh, for a person to become a good trader? I mean, where they can consistently take money out of the market? I know it's variable, but I think the minimum would probably be three years. But that's just my guess. No, that's 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 a good that's a good point right there. Yeah, yeah. I would say I'd say three years is is probably the average. Some guys mm -hmm. take a little longer. Um, you know, I worked with another guy, and he was at it five years. Um, and he still wasn't consistent, but it was just because he was not focused. Mm -hmm. He didn't have a business plan. He didn't have any goals. He could trade very well, but he mm -hmm. didn't have any goals to reach other than some vague notion of, okay, I want to make X amount of dollars maybe this week, today, next month, mm -hmm. whenever. So, you know, once we got him on a concrete path of saying, okay, I'm going to do this today, this for this week, this for the month, and that sort of thing, it just he became consistent quite quite quickly. Mm -hmm. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, one other question. Um, what what trading, uh, study materials do you offer to someone that starts uh, your program, uh, Paula? Uh, well, basically, because even though there's a lot of common trading challenges, you know, fear of whatever, um, it's still person specific. So when they come to me and we start working together, I'll give them exercises at the end of every consultation in the form of essay questions, which are based on what they shared with me in our session. So they're they're unique to them. They're not cookie cutter exercises because yeah. trading psychology is not cookie cutter it, it's all about your that. mind their mind and their approach and so we have to get to you know the nuts and bolts of what they're thinking mm -hmm. so we can expand on that in, in positive ways for them to become better traders so everybody walks away with exercises handouts that are geared yep. toward what they want to accomplish well, you have extensive writings, too. I mean, I don't know how many publications you've written from. You've, I mean, hundreds of these things you've written over the years that have been. Oh, yeah. They, right. they were instrumental in the, in the trading in the zone book, I know. Hey, listen, thanks for joining us, sweetie. We'll have you on again soon, and stay cool over there. Okay, sorry for the uh, little uh, hat here today. I'm, uh, I'm heading over to the range. I'm going to have a little <laughs> okay. fun, and uh, I'm actually teaching some, some, some students at the range today. So. Okay. All right, thanks, Anytime, Paul. Anytime, Larry. You bet. And the range he's talking about, folks, is the shooting range. <laughs> All right, let's get back to our work here. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. 
Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks. I want to play a little game here for a little exercise. This is the Treasury bond market. You can see over the last uh, two and three, three, the last three weeks on a four-hour chart. If you'll notice the uh, dark black line here right at the end. This is what my expectations are for the Federal Reserve today, either low down. And you see this, this is a buy box down in here. There's your sell box down in here. So, and there's a chance you could hit them both. I've seen it happen where it went here and there or there and there. How they happen, I don't know. But it gets very crazy at that time because when the Fed starts to speak, people pull their orders till they see what happens. So if it's buy orders, there's going to be a vacuum until someone starts to sell up in this area. Same thing, it's a vacuum on the downside till someone looks for support. The final support would be right here, and the final resistance would be right up here. So that's what I'd be looking for. I'd be putting an order right in here, risking about $500, and I'd be putting an order right up here, risking about $500. Do I do this all the time? No, I do it during Fed time. And believe me, folks, if you think people are not following this, <laughs> we know what it's going to do. We just don't know the direction it's going to do. Now, we do have a slight advantage here, because if you look at this over the last few weeks, you can easily see that the trend is up. We just completed a perfect Gartley down here at 125.10. Yesterday, uh, we got as high as 126.06, I think, and we're trading at 125.30 or something last time I checked. So th this still has a bullish bias because the Gartley is still working, but it could go either way. And that's the key. You don't know which way it's going to go. So what you have to do is you have to protect yourself. Now, I do not have an order setting in at those exact spots. What I do here, what I do have is I have my limit minder to tell me that that's been hit. And then as I'm looking at the chart, I want to see how much volatility we have around that number. Now, let's say it just hits 127.05 and comes off really quickly. Well, I assume that I probably missed that exact high. So what I'll try to find a place in between that area where I might be able to get a short off. Or on the downside, if we get down to that 123.20 uh, area, I'll do the same thing. So I'm trying to control my risk. If I go in and have an order setting in there while the Fed is out there, God knows they could they could do anything. They could raise it by uh, three quarters of a point, a half a point. And they're expected to do a quarter. They might not even do a quarter. Maybe they reduce rates. Who knows? I mean, they could do something crazy like that. That's why you've got to be extremely careful trading during that time. It's just, uh, it's insanity to do it. Uh, this really, uh, uh, you know, you have to have a really good information. You already know what the report says, like in trading places when, uh, what was the guy's name? Is Paul Gleason was the, uh, was the actor. I'm trying to think. Uh, 
Clarence Bibbs, Clarence Beeks, Clarence Beeks, and that was uh, Paul uh, Gleason was the actor, and uh, he was the one that you know got the information from the uh, Department of uh, Agriculture on the orange juice report. Well, folks, no one gives you those reports. I'm sure it happens. I can remember the days back in the 80s when I was on the floor of the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. Whenever there was a pig crop report or a cattle report. There were two of the floor brokers that did work for the Department of Agriculture uh, chief, which happened to be one of the former members of the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. And you know, those guys were on the right side of the market almost every time. As a matter of fact, I can't think of a time where they weren't on the right side of the market. So if you think that stuff doesn't happen, you're being right naive. The key is it just doesn't happen to us. <laughs> I, I've been doing this for so many years, I hate to admit, I'm in my seventh decade at doing this. I started in 59. Yeah, that's seven decades. And anyway, um, I've never gotten inside information that worked. I got in for my information that didn't work, but that's important too. Because if you remember in, in Ed, uh, Edwin Lefevre's book, Old Westlake, that's where I used to live in Westlake Village, uh, he would always come in with a, you know, his, his tip for the week or whatever it was, and every time it was wrong. And the people said, oh, don't come in here anymore. And, and Lefevre said, are you kidding me? He's giving you 100% information, and you're not taking advantage of it. He's just giving you the wrong information, and that's useful too. So we're going to have some fun here today with these markets. Uh, we're setting it. The Dow has been up 13 days in a row. Uh, we're still basically I, – I hadn't looked at it lately. I don't know if it's uh, down or what. It's uh, Yeah, it's down a tiny bit. Uh, Russell is still up, but the NASDAQ is down. The S&P is down, but they're doing very little. And, of course, everybody's waiting for that report. There's no question about it. And they're sitting near the low of the days, and that don't mean it's going lower, folks. That just means we're at the low of the days. So you don't know what's going to happen next, but it will be will be some fun. My assumption is if it's, if it's a bearish report, you'll see 1865. Let's try that again, Larry. 4565 in the S&P 500 on the downside. And if it's really bullish, you could see... 46.10, 46.15. That's in the S&P. I've not done the work on the Dow Jones because I'm not interested in trading either one of those. All I'm doing is, is just looking to see what's supposed to happen at that time. That's all I'm doing. I don't do anything uh, more than that. So we'll see how it all works out, but that's neither here nor there. We'll do one thing at a time. Tomorrow's guest uh, we have is Bill. Mer oh, tomorrow's guest is Bill, isn't it? Uh, yeah, tomorrow's guest is Bill Meridian of Cycles Research, and we have to have a special, special happy birthday for one of our people in the Tiger Den. Uh, Dr. Mark is a, a very happy 78 years old today, and uh, I think it's all of us give us a sound of one hand clapping as we wish him a happy birthday. One of my very, very dear friends, and uh, just like a, I never had a brother, but he'd been the one I would have picked. Anyway, I hope he has a wonderful day, which he, I'm certainly will down there in uh, Florida, one of those big cities down there. I can never remember the name of it. I think I visited him once over the past uh, uh, 50, see, I met him in 07, so that's what, 17 years. Yeah, I think I've uh, met him once or twice during that time. We never miss going there, folks, for five or six weeks every year until COVID came, and then that uh, – that stopped it. So anyway, we got to do some other things to look at. The, the currencies, all the things will be uh, fixed up here uh, with the Fed coming in. But overall, folks, you have to realize the bond market is basically bearish. Uh, they have to – They what we're doing is we're, re, we're repricing inflation to the rest of the world. We're actually deflating where the rest of the world is inflating. And so we have to find out how they're going to get rid of all these bonds because the only way they can pay these bills – is with funny money, and you get funny money by printing paper, and that's what they do the best. You know, it doesn't make any difference what they tell you they're going to do. That's what they have to do because right on the bill it says, in God we trust. And if it ever gets to the point where people don't see that in God we trust on the, the, the picture of the dollar bill, that's when you're going to see gold at uh, three or $4,000 and, and silver at 200 bucks an ounce. I don't see that in my lifetime, but you know anything's possible. But stop and think. We have all these debts that are out there. All they're doing, you know, whether it's student debt or you're know, sending another fifty billion to the Ukraine to, you know, drop some shells on their own property or whatever it's going to be, it's still got to be paid somewhere, and that's how it's paid. Anybody trying to think otherwise should be very, very suspect. 
It was a su surprising the other day that Rayathon, who's one of the biggest defense contractors, uh, their their profits were down. How can that be when a war is going on? And if you think that war's not affected us, look how much money we've already spent over there, folks. Not very good. I think we have a break coming up, don't we? And then we have the Federal Preserve will be out here with their usual stuff and see what's going on. 877-927-6648. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks. Uh, someone posted that the Fed that makes its announcements at 2.30. I think that's um, – I thought they started at uh, – Two and then he comes out and talks at 2:30. Uh, I don't know if that's the case or not, but we'll certainly find out here very, very shortly. Remember, tomorrow's guest will be uh, Bill Meridian of Cycles Research. And on Thursday, uh, we have no. Oh, that's uh, uh, wait. Yeah, today. What is today? Today is Wednesday already. My God, where does the time go? Tomorrow is Thursday, followed closely by Friday. Friday, we, uh, Thursday, we have Bill Meridian, and we're still trying to get. Uh, Peter Lydes uh, to come on on Friday. Unfortunately, he's still on vacation, so it might not be uh, exactly at that time. So we'll 
we'll find out what's going to happen. Uh, remember, folks, uh, we're in the middle of summer here, and sometimes my electricity goes out because of all the electrical storms we have here. Uh, we've been really calm since we had that storm uh, 10 days ago. I lost two lawn chairs uh, you know, that were blown away, and uh, they found them today when the gentleman went up to check uh, the roof and the gutters, and the, the chairs are on top of the house. So got the two chairs back, not even damaged. So they weren't expensive chairs anyway. So that's a good thing. Okay, one other question. Is, you have to go to the um, website, at, uh, TFNN, for the August 2nd uh, trading show. Uh, I think you'll enjoy it. I've got some new stuff planned, and especially we're going to be doing at least probably five trades uh, during that time and try to make some money up uh, from the $295 that uh, you pay for it. But we've always done that in the other four that we've done. Hopefully, this will be another one. I know hopefully it's not a very good uh, trading word, but uh, we can work around that and still hopefully, uh, there's hopefully again, uh, see if we can... Uh, uh, make a couple of bucks. I think we would have had a heck of a day today, that's for sure. Anyway, that's what we're watching here today. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. Mm -hmm.